Hi everybody, um, it's Kelly here from Craft and a Cuppa. I'm going to show you how to make a non-wonky granny square because it's, they're not very nice to look at, let's be honest. If you would like a nice, straight, lovely looking granny square, then you've come to the right place. So what we're going to do, is we're going to do a slip knot. Then we need to chain four, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to slip stitch through this first chain right here to join and make a little circle. Like so. Just find that little bit in the middle there. Excuse my fingernails, look, I haven't even painted my nails, look. Chain three. One, two, three. And then two DC into the loop to make a cluster of three. Chain two. 3DC into the loop, chain 2, Three DC into the loop, Chain two, we need four of these. We've got one, two, three. That means we need one more set of three DC. One, two, three, chain two, and then we're going to just slip stitch to the top of the third chain from the beginning to join. Now the key here, let me just pull that a minute, get that nice and tight. Now, the key here to a straight square is to turn your work after every row. So what we're going to do, because we're going to stay with the same colour, we're going to turn our work and we're going to do one slip stitch back into this corner chain space. And now we can start working again. So we're going to do three chains, which are going to class as your first double, two doubles. We're not going to do a chain for this one. We're just going to go straight into this corner and we're going to do three double crochets. Chain two, three double crochets in the same corner. There we go. Got one corner there. Not going to do a chain in between this one, we're going to go straight into the next corner and do three DCs. Chain two, three DCs back in this corner. No chain again over these ones. Straight back into the next corner, 3DC. Chain 2. 3DC in the same corner. Skip these again without a chain. We're going to go back into the final corner. We've already got 3DC in there. Well, your chain. Uh, three at the beginning and then two DCs. So we're going to just going to do three more DCs in this corner. Chain two. And then we're going to join to here. So if you're staying with the same colour, like you're basically just going to keep doing what I just did. Turning, slip stitching back in this corner and then going back round again. And that will help avoid a wonky square. 
Now, if you're going to change colour, what I do is I turn my work so I've got the wrong side facing me. Just get another colour. Get it in my lovely trusty yarn genie. If you haven't got one of these things and you really need to go get one because they are just absolutely amazing. Right. So just do another little slip knot. Put that on there like so. So if I'm changing colour, I will go in a totally different um, corner to where I finished. And that also helps to keep the square nice and straight and stops it from slanting off on the wonk. So I'm going to go straight in this corner here. It's opposite. It doesn't have to be opposite. It could be that one. It could be that one. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go in this one. I'm going to join it in with a slip stitch. Chain my three. Did I just chain three? One, two, three, yeah. And then two DC. And then we're not going to uh, put a chain in between this one. We're just going to go straight in this centre and do three DC. And then straight into the corner where we're going to be placing three DC. Chain two, three DC. That's one corner. And then we're going to go straight into this bit in the centre and do three DC. It's a bit of a mess here because I haven't snipped this off, but I don't want to cut my yarn. <laughs> now we're going to go straight into this corner and do three dc chain two three oh three dc and then straight into the center with just three dc i do love granny squares that's what got me into crocheting was a granny square Right into this corner, three DC. For me, the more colours, the better. Another tip as well, because I do, I love to change colour every row normally. Another tip is just to weave your ends in as you go. And then you don't have that many to deal with. All right, last in this little centre, three DC. And the last corner, three DC. Chain two, and then slip stitch to the top of that chain three. Oh, my voice is going. And there we go. I mean, it's a little bit messy. I've got my ends everywhere, but you kind of get the gist. So basically to avoid a wonky square, constantly change or turn your row oh, i can't talk properly now look turn your work after every round and if changing color go in a different corner and all of these tips will help to keep your square lovely and straight thank you